I'm joined here by the Prime Minister from Kyrgyzstan. It's a great honor to see you, sir, Mr. Prime Minister. Let me begin by asking you about that railway. People are extremely interested. Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and China. How is it going? When are we going to see the real implementation? It's a very important project for us. We see it as part of the great initiative that China started, One Belt, One Road Initiative. Kyrgyzstan is of great importance to the construction of this railroad. It has a good economic benefit not only for our country, but for all the countries of the region. Mm -hmm. But it's expensive, people say. Of course, the cost of the project is an investment, and estimates show the cost of the project will be recuperated in 20 years. The railroad will go through the high altitude areas, some areas both 4,000 meters. Yes, but at the same time, Kyrgyzstan need to work it out with your partner countries around you in order to make it work. So how's that persuasion process, process going on? How much of your work these days is about that? Three countries are participating in this project, China, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan has completed its part, so once Kyrgyzstan completes its part, we'll have the link between China, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. Mm. Well, it's going to be exciting once it is finished, but how to maintain it, how to make sure it's going to be business viable, and how to make sure it's going to be sustainable, it's an interesting question, isn't it? It's a very good question. The construction of this railroad created many jobs. For example, in Kyrgyzstan and the countries it passed through, a lot of businesses will thrive, and in general, it will have a good economic positive effect on countries participating in this project. And for the countries in the region, this will be an economic jump. Countries that are far apart now, they will be close to each other. Security situation is also important for the uh, Western Asia. Uh, SEO, you're part of it, but the question is, how well will SEO be able to work together, even though there are some differences when it comes to opinion about certain issues? on the security issue. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization has now a very good reputation being an important regional organization. The decisions undertaken with SEO are bearing fruit already, especially with the positive impact in the field of security cooperation in the region. And what's important, economic development, the simultaneous economic development of the member countries of SEO will have stability and will push away the issues of terrorism and other security concerns. China is developing path has been using economic development to solve some of the problems along the way. Reform and opening up is a way of doing it. I guess in that way, a lot could be discussed and interacted, exchanged between China and Kyrgyzstan. Indeed, it is important. That's why China's initiative, One Belt, One Road, is very, very useful and important for the countries of the region. People have different opinions about this. Some say it's a great thing, others say, well, China should put as much uh, conditions as possible to so-called uh, make sure the other countries also develop, quote-unquote, in a good way. What do you say? I think that's the success of China. It'd like to develop, not just by itself, but together with neighboring countries in the region. For that, China is creating a belt of security in this region. I think it's a wise policy, the success of China, the economic development of countries that are neighbors of China also bring economic development to China. Together, we're growing. I'd also like to note that in dealing with our countries, China never put any kinds of conditions in terms of cooperation. Yeah. I, I want to ask you a little bit more about china kyrgyzstan relationship. Besides the connectivity, what else can we look for, Mr. Prime Minister? Just recently, we marked the 25th anniversary of relations between China and Kyrgyzstan. Our relations are very fruitful and productive with many areas of cooperation. Trade relations with Kyrgyzstan, China is in the second place, the second largest trading partner for Kyrgyzstan. Many production facilities we have in our country use the technology equipment from China. Many infrastructure projects have been done using the technologies from China, which are affordable and quality. Also, we have good relations in cultural and humanitarian ways. Wonderful. Mr. Prime Minister, before you go, I do want to throw you this question, a very important question, which is, we are in a fractured world, but we have to have a shared future. That's how the world is like. 
On that part, what do you think is the real remedy? What do you think is the real solution to have that shared future? From our country's point of view, our country is a very remote landlocked area. That's why cooperation with the neighbors is the key for joint development. That's why I'd like to reiterate the wise policy of Mr. Xi Jinping. The One Belt, One Road has actually many opportunities for our country for economic growth and development jointly. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. What a pleasure to have you here. All the best to you and your country. Thank you so much, sir.